Looking to satisfy their hunger, George and Lane join Chef John at the world-famous Sundowners restaurant in Key Largo for the fresh and fragrant Hogfish Fernando. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oil up a nice spot on the griddle right here. Ooh, Get her oiled up. Ooh, she is nice and hot. Very important, salt and pepper. Listen to that. There we you go. You can smell wow. the goodness. You so can get smell it. it. So we're just gonna get a nice light sear on that side. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna sear the other side too. How long, how long do you do this? I'm gonna say we're gonna have this fish cooked in about two to three minutes. Wow. So while I got that going, I'm gonna get a little bit of garlic butter in my saute pan over here. George has a little bit of drool coming out. A little out bit of garlic butter. Right there. Oh, we're nice and hot over here too. Look at that. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get our tomatoes in there. The fresh cut tomatoes. Ooh. Absolutely, a little salt and pepper. Can't do anything without seasoning. Well, nope. Just kind of amplifies the gotta, flavor of gotta everything. Gotta season all your foods, folks. Salt and pepper on everything. The difference between good food and great food, seasoning. Seasoning. We're gonna flip our oh, fish look over at that. here. Man. Look All at right. that. So we got some nice color on that fish right there. On it. So really with the, with the hogfish Fernando sauce, we're just trying to get the tomatoes hot, and we're just trying to get the crab hot. Okay. You know, the crab's already cooked. We don't want to hammer the crab. You know, we, we don't want to overcook it. Right. right but you can never have too much crab in any dish. Oh, no, I don't think so. We're going to put this off to the side real quick because we don't want to burn the butter. Now, There's if you don't have hogfish where you live, I mean, you could use just about anything for this dish. It doesn't have to be hogfish. It could be an, any any uh, light fish. What about like a tilapia over? if you're in Michigan Absolutely. or Nebraska in the wintertime? Okay. Absolutely. So here we go. We're we are ready on our hogfish, gentlemen. Topped with the warmed garlic butter, tomato, and crab mixture, Chef John serves the hogfish Fernando over a bed of sautéed green beans for a delicious companion to a gorgeous sundowner's sunset. Please, take in and enjoy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. You know Chef that? John. Mm. That's a strike. Out. That's a strike, like in bowling, right? That's not like two or three pins falling over. That's like, boom, knock them down, and a couple pins fly over the next lane and knock other people's stuff over. <laughs> That's a That's perfect game. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Chef John right here at the picturesque and world-famous Sundowners Restaurant in Key Largo, Florida. Come over here and get the Fernando. It is incredible. Closed captioning and the cooking segment for the Fish Guys is brought to you by Sundowners Restaurant. Unparalleled views and dining bayside in Key Largo.